I have a copy of Audacity open and you can see it on my screen here and today we're going to talk about using Audacity for tempo change that is to slow down a song or an audio file and to speed it up. A lot of people use Audacity for a lot of different reasons and it is a fairly decent audio editor but people also use it and build into it are the abilities to change pitch and tempo. There's some problems with doing that in Audacity because of the technology that it employs and the fact that as you do it you introduce audio artifacts i.e. distortion. Let's take a quick look. First of all I have this song open it is an organ song and we're gonna listen to this 15 second segment of it here at the normal tempo without changing uh, the speed of the song at all so let's listen. Okay, um, you've heard 10 seconds of it. You can hear that it sounds nice, as it should. It's unmodified. The wave file has not been changed, and therefore there, it should play back well, and it does. Now, let's go ahead and let's apply a change. And we're going to change the tempo, and we're going to change it, let's say, by 4%. And I've got that set up here, so a tiny amount. So let's say you're going to you want to change the tempo slightly because you want to re-record this or export it and save those changes so you can use this file in some type of a performance setting. So you're not talking about a huge tempo change here, a relatively modest tempo change. Let's apply it. Now first of all, this little screen that flashed is something I want to just mention to you and that is that you can't change tempo on the fly or real time with this. You've got to essentially stop what you're doing define the area that you want to change and then apply the change and then once you've applied the change then go back and play it and listen to it. And the ability to do it real time so you can click around and basically change it from 50 to 40 to 30 to 90 to whatever you want real time is very valuable and you're gonna see another program we're gonna show you in just a minute that is able to do that. So that's one thing that's somewhat problematic but more problematic is the fact that here with just a four percent change in tempo. Let's go ahead and listen. But listen for the flutter. Again, we change this only by 4%, but there's a flutter or a wobble introduced already after 4%. So let me play it again and listen for that. Now to be fair, I should point out that on some songs you can do a 4% change and you may not hear any distortion. But the point is that on some songs that you do, and clearly on any song, as you change the tempo more drastically, you introduce an increasing amount of distortion to the point that it becomes something that you can't really use because you can't hear what's being played because of all the distortion. With that as a brief introduction to Audacity and how you can use it to slow music down or to change the tempo, we're now going to shift gears. Let me load another program in my computer and let's take a look at that. Okay, and the program that we're going to compare Audacity to is called Song Surgeon. Uh, Song Surgeon has been around for four years and the original version of Song Surgeon used the same exact sound engine that Audacity has. But when we released this newest version, version 3 of Song Surgeon, we did so with one of our primary development objectives being to replace that sound engine with something much better. And indeed that's what we have in this newest version. This new sound engine that we have gives us nearly flawless audio even when you play it back at, at significantly reduced tempos or changed speeds. So let's go ahead and listen. First of all here's the normal speed. That is um, the original. Uh, let's go ahead now and let's listen to it at a reduced speed. As we listen to it at this reduced speed, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to change in real time something Audacity could not do, the tempo. And you can listen to it at these various tempos. In this case, we're going to reduce the speed. We're going to slow down the music. But you can hear it as it does this real time. And you also should listen for distortion. See if you hear any of the flutter or the wobbling that you heard when we used Audacity.
okay as you can see I've slowed it down to 40 percent and there is no distortion at that level no fluttering like we heard in audacity and again to summarize here real quickly the main two differences are that you don't have this distortion because we have a much much better sound engine here you can do it real time which is very important and the last thing which I haven't mentioned is depending upon what you're using uh, song surgeon for we have two different algorithms that we use for changing tempo so if you like what you see of song surgeon you might consider going to our website I will post a link on it here momentarily and from that link you can download a fully functional four-hour working demo in which you can try the slow down music function or the tempo change function yourself thanks for your time today bye